Um, we have one more candidate for state 76 state assembly. assembly. Ralph Denny. Can you come up here real quick, Ralph? Sure. We're really short on time today. Oh, so am I. I'm already running late. I'm supposed to be somewhere else. Need a name too, please. Ralph Denny. First off, I want to thank you again for your endorsement for the primary. Uh, because of that endorsement, I handedly defeated both of my opponents and am the Republican uh, candidate for the assembly. How many people are, are here from San Diego? Lee, be sure you give each one of them a, an envelope and a card. <laughs> Let me ask you a quick question. How many people think Lori Sadania is in favor of veterans? No one? Who is Lori Sadania? She is the incumbent who is sitting in the seat now. She is termed out. She pretends to be pro-veteran while she votes against every veteran's measure that comes before the assembly with some exceptions. Uh, a couple of exceptions I would actually agree with her, but that's about the only things I agree with her on. The Democratic, uh, Democrat opponent that I am up against is Tony Atkins, hardcore professional politician. I love it. A, a, uh, I've got a Democratic activist who is supporting me, and he said it best. She is no Democrat. She's a professional politician. You may remember her from the, uh, uh, from the pension fiasco in our city. The Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the Union Tribune, the Gay and Lesbian Times, all agree on one issue. She is the most fiscally irresponsible politician in San Diego history. As of 2008, the latest date that we have firm numbers, she spent 567000 of our dollars to defend herself against fraud charges. Because of that and other issues, the Gay and Lesbian Times, her number one supporter, in spite of what they've said in the past, her number one demographic, very liberal, very democratic, ran a poll, I was warning people, if I got 40%, I'd be, I would consider myself a winner. I got 53%. She is vulnerable in this election. But I need help. I desperately need help. Otherwise, she's going to take it. And unlike Lori, she's smart, as, which makes her even more dangerous. We have to stop what's happening in Sacramento, and the best way to do that is to send me and others like me. I'm a bureaucrat's worst nightmare. I'm a tax accountant. I know how to read a budget. And the budget of the state of California sucks. We don't have one. <laughs> how many people here believe that uh, we should be paying more taxes? And then I'll, I'll quit, Jim. Okay. How many people here think we need to uh, pay more taxes? Tony Atkins has already come out in favor of increasing taxes. How many here want to see more jobs leave California? Tony Atkins has already come out in favor of AB 32, which we know will cost the state a half a million jobs the day it becomes effective. The Port of Oakland is managed by a corporation which has recently moved every job they could to Phoenix, Arizona. We've got to stop this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim.